Hello, I'm going to be talking about synthetic division, which is a form of long division. What we must remember for synthetic division is that the divisor or the denominator must be of the form x plus or minus some constant. For example, consider this uh, x cubed minus x to the second plus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. Can I use synthetic division and divide? And the answer is yes, I can. How about the second one, this one? x cubed minus 2x plus 5 divided by x squared minus 1 plus 1. No, I cannot use synthetic division because the divisor the or the denominator in here is not of the, of the form x plus or minus a constant. So let me show some examples and hopefully it will be helpful to you. Suppose that I'm doing um, x cubed minus x to the second plus 2x plus 4, uh, all this divided by x minus 2. Yeah. So I could write that in, in terms of fraction. This is the same as saying x cubed minus x to the second plus 2x plus 4 over x minus 2. Remember, all divisions are fractions. All fractions are divisions. So it's, it's the same thing. So now, uh, can I use synthetic division? I sure can. And here is how you're going to be doing it. First, write down the coefficients. The coefficient of x cubed is 1. Coefficient of uh, x to the second is minus 1. Coefficient of x is 2. And coefficient of 4, um, well, uh, it's just a 4. You can, you know, you can think of this as 4 times x to the power of 0, if that's, you know, help, if that is help, if that's helpful to you, excuse me. It's not necessary, but some students find that helpful. So in order of descending, uh, 1x cubed minus 1x to the second plus 2x plus 4. And now, let me just erase this. I want to, I'm going to use this uh, negative 2, but part of this, because we, you know, let's, let's not talk about the reason why you do that, but you have a minus 2 or negative 2, you want to use opposite of that. You want to use positive 2. Just trust me on that. Uh, now, I'm going to bring the 1 down. That's the first step. Bring the first number down. Now, 1, this 1 times 2, OK? So this is the, this, this, I'm going to multiply and put here uh, so it doesn't get too crowded. I'm going to write here multiply, multiply this row. 1 times 2 is 2, OK? And now this is the row that I'm going to be adding. This 2 uh, combined with minus 1 gives me a 1. Now, this row I'm here, let me change color again to blue. 1 times 2 gives me a 2. Adding together gives me a 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Adding, uh, it gives you a 12. Now, notice in the very beginning, since we are dividing, we're dividing x, a cubic function by a linear function, x minus 2, the end result must be one degree lower. So now this division equals 2. I have 1 here. That means that I have 1x to the second plus 1x from here plus 4. If you, once again, you don't have to. Some students think of this as x to the power of 0. It's totally up to you. 
And the remainder of 12, a remainder of 12. So this is my remainder. Okay. So let's clean this up. I can rewrite this as x to the second plus x plus four plus 12 over plus 12 over uh, x minus two as my remainder. Let me fix this right. Okay, let's try another example. Suppose I have um, x cubed. Again, let me use this time I'm going to write it in terms of fraction, just, just, to, just for the sake of variety. Suppose I have um, x cubed plus 2x to the second minus 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. Okay. And so once again, remember this is the same as saying uh, x cubed plus 2x to the second minus 3x plus 1 divided by x plus 1. No. So now let's use synthetic division. Uh, the denominator of is of the form x plus some constant or x minus some constant. So using the coefficient of the numerator, I have a 1, I have a 2, I have a negative 3, and I have a 1. And I'm going to use from here the opposite of this, negative 1. Remember that I have to first bring this 1 down. And this is the row that gets multiplied multiply by, uh, by the negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 2, <laughs> negative 1, sorry about that. And this is the row that we, we add. Uh, so this gives me a total of 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Add them together, negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Add them together gives me a 5. So the final answer for this division is, let me put that equals, um, let, me, let me just go ahead and write it up here, this equals 1x to the second plus 1x minus 4 and then plus 5 over x plus Let's do one, example, one more example. Uh, suppose I have, let's do one that some factors are missing. Suppose, what if I have something like um, 4x to the power of 6, 4x to the power of 6 minus 3x to the power of 4 plus x to the second plus 5, and all this divided by x minus 1. Can I use synthetic division? And the answer is certainly I can. But I must be very careful because um, x to the fifth is missing, x cubed is missing, and x to the power of 1 is missing. So I have to use dummy variables. So I have 4 x to the power of 6, and then no x to the power of 5 minus 3, x to the power of 4, um, 0 x to the power of 3, 1 x to the power of 2, no x to the power of uh, uh, 1 and 5, is my constant, or you can think at 5 as a 5x to the power of 0, like we, we mentioned before. And so I'm going to divide that by, uh, I have a negative 1 in here, so I'm going to put just a 1, a positive 1. 
step one, bring this four down, okay? Uh, and this is the row that we said this will, we will multiply in this row. Uh, four times one is four, let's write it here. And this row here is the row that we add. Four and zero is four. Again, four times one is four. Four added combined with negative three is one. One times one is one. One combined with zero is one. One times one is one. One combined with one is two. Two times one is two. Two combined with zero is two. And two times one is two combined with five gives me seven. Okay. So now um, my division, let me see if I can fit it here. Try to say uh, four x to the six minus three x to the four plus x to the second plus five divided by x minus one equals, well, my highest power is six. So when I divide that by x minus one, I have to go one power down. So I have four x to the power of five plus four x to the power of four uh, plus one x cubed plus one x to the second plus two x plus two, and finally plus seven over x minus one. Okay. And let's do one last example. Suppose if I say, let's have um, uh, x to the power of five, plus 5x cubed minus 10 divided by x plus 1. This, if I want to rewrite that in a very clear way, I can say that this is the same as saying x to the power of 5 plus 0, x to the power of 4 uh, plus 5x to the power of 3 plus zero x to the power of two plus zero uh, x to the power of one. Well, I don't have to write that. Minus 10 all over x plus one. So we call these dummy variables, these, these zeros, these placeholders, we call them dummy variables. So using the coefficients, I would have, uh, uh, let me clear this off. I need the room. I have one x to the power of five, uh, no x to the power of four, five x cubed, no x to the second, no x and minus 10 divided by and remember, I put the opposite of this number, minus one. Okay. Uh, step one, bring this one down. And so remember that this is the row that we multiply. And this is One times negative one is negative one, and this is the row that we add. Uh, so negative one and zero is negative one. Negative one times negative one is positive one. Added to five gives me six. Six times negative one is negative six. Added to zero is negative six. Negative six times negative one is positive six. Added to zero is positive six. Six times negative one is minus six. Add them together, I get negative 16. So this division, the end result is going to be one x to the power of four minus one x cubed plus six x to the second minus six x to the first power plus six or six x to the power of zero if you prefer, and minus 
16 over x plus 1. I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.